In today's video, we have another mystery unboxing. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love helping the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes. Join me as we explore the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Stuck in quarantine here in Dallas, uh, in the middle of this coronavirus crisis, of course, uh, jokes aside, uh, it's certainly is something to be taken very seriously. And uh, by virtue of needing to stay home uh, to create social distancing, a good friend of mine in New York City sent me a little present in the mail. So this is gonna be today's mystery unboxing. I won't reveal his identity yet because it would give away what's inside, uh, but let's see what's inside this beautiful box. Now, first thing that might be a giveaway is that this is um, something that needs to stay cool. So it's a Paris ship, which is like a refrigerated shipping cart, and this is quite fancy. And uh, let's open this up and see what we have. So, um, you know, I always love unboxings here at Kirby Allison. All right. We've got some product literature. Definitely not shoes. Definitely too large to be cigars. This would be a, quite a haul if this was cigars. Let's see what's in here. Look at this. A little quarantine gift bag. Quarantine gift set from our friend, or at least my friend, Alex Petrosen from Petrosen Caviar. A fellow shoe aficionado, lover of shoes, immaculate taste. Uh, and um, let's see what he's got in here for us. So. Alex and I have a little fun kind of challenge of trying to outdo one another with uh, uh, random gifts. And so um, the last gift I sent him was our El Casco pencil sharpener. And I think he may have one up to me with this one. He's already got enough Sapphire shoe polish. So uh, Petros and Caviar, uh, you know, one of the things I love about Alex uh, is his passion for food. Of course, Petros and Caviar is a caviar business making some of the world's finest caviar in the world. Um, but one of the things I love about them is that they have an exceptional uh, assortment and catalog of other really interesting uh, kind of obscure food items from uh, all over the place. So this is, let's see, pate de champagne with black pepper. I think that'll get me through this quarantine. All of this actually is quite cold, packing it in ice kits. with brandy. So I think uh, we might actually have to violate our social distancing policy to have a little bit of a party here. And this one is um, with pistachios. So look at that. I'm telling you, Alex is incredible. So uh, uh, something for the kids. There's some nougat. This is always something interesting. More packing, I mean, they're packing. You know, whenever I think about how difficult it is to pack items that are breakable, like our Saphir glass jars, I look at what Alex has to ship and realize that I really have it easy. Uh, all right, well, these, he really shouldn't have, but I'll accept it. This is the holy grail right here. I mean, Petros and Caviar, uh, I mean, what a treat, special occasions. We're locked at home. Uh, I know that my alcohol consumption has gone up considerably. And if this is what I think it is, um, we'll need some champagne. Yeah. So this is at Tsar Imperial Etc. Caviar. Now, one tin of caviar is enough, but I'm seeing two here. And uh, one of Alex's favorite things to do is to really showcase just how different the flavor profiles can be of caviar. Uh, this is Sar Imperial Etc. So there we go. Um, we've got uh, 250 grams of this stuff, different packaging, so that means that, you know we don't have to open it up all in one day. It's gonna be amazing. Thank you, Alex. Now we have an entire video series that we filmed with Alex Petrosen a while back ago, actually talking about how to enjoy and taste caviar. So if you haven't seen that, uh, please check that out. Uh, wow, some Hawaiian Kona coffee. So whenever I break no coffee fasting for Lent, uh, I will be breaking into this immediately. I love Kona coffee. Uh, what else do we have? Oh. More stuff for the kids, look at that. Actually, I might break into this before I get home. 
These are some uh, little fruit jellies. And again, you know, Pertrosan caviar being based in France or in Paris, you know, really has access to so many great delicacies. Ooh, I'm glad he sent these. I actually enjoyed these the last time I was at his house. Uh, sardines, right? So uh, whenever I think of sardines, you think, oh gosh, you know, I think of Tom and Jerry, you know, who wants to eat sardines? Uh, but actually, this is a pretty exceptional item, you know, just a little to snack on. I mean, it's incredibly healthy, uh, high in omegas, and actually quite tasty. So this would have been the last thing I think I would have purchased uh, on his website, but I was over uh, hanging out with Alex, and uh, you know, we needed something to snack on, and he pulled these out with some crackers. Uh, absolutely incredible. Um, some tea, of course, great. Um, being stuck inside, I always enjoy some nice tea. Uh, and let's see what's in here. This is, uh, this is like, I feel like, uh, what is this called? One of those, um, one of those little kits that you have to open up all the boxes. One of those LOL, I feel like this is an LOL box. Uh, what's in here? Oh my goodness. Ugh. Canapes, right. So. These again are a um, kind of French delicacy uh, that you can find in the French uh, patisseries. Uh, and whenever I'm in France, uh, I really enjoy uh, ordering a boulangerie and getting some freshly baked bread. Of course, the croissants are incredible, uh, but these uh, again are a little caramelized something. So I don't even know kind of what they are technically, uh, but wow. Mm. That's really good. Exceptional. I mean, Alex actually has one of the best French bakeries uh, in uh, New York City, in my opinion. Um, I can't remember exactly where it's located but it's right at near Central Park, kind of towards Columbus Circle. And uh, if you're ever in New York, it's an incredible little cafe. You can go in, you can get some caviar, you can even have breakfast. Um, you know, you don't have to order caviar. Everything else they have is really great. Exceptional coffee. This is an Indonesian um, Sulawesi blend. Never tried that before. We've got some Kenya uh, and some Jamaica Blue Mountains. So. Uh, this will certainly help me get through those late nights, or better yet, those difficult mornings homeschooling the children uh, during this uh, absolute, uh, you know, just crazy time. And, uh, you know, thank you, Alex. Absolutely exceptional. Anyone that's looking for some ideas on how to spice up their time at home, of course, a nice bottle of champagne, some caviar, you know, it's uh, just one way to kind of get through this together, enjoying some of the finer luxuries of life. So, uh, petrosincaviar.com. Thank you, Alex, and wow, look forward to taking this stuff home.